Tuendele na taarifa zaidi za siku ambapo polisi walilazimika kutumia vituo vya machozi kutawanya waandamanaji wenye ghadhabu waliokuwa wamefunga barabara ya Naro kinaoelekea Bomet wakilalamikia kifo cha kijana mmoja ambaye aliyedaiwa kuuawa na wahalifu katika mtaa wa K24 mjini Narok. Waandamanaji hao wengi wao wakiwa ni wahudumu wa bodaboda walikuwa wamemnasa mwanamme mmoja ambaye wamedai kwamba alikuwa miongoni mwa wahalifu waliomuua kijana huyo wakitaka kumuua. Wenye magari waliokuwa wakitumia barabara hiyo lazimika kusubiri kwa saa kadhaa kabla ya polisi kufika ili kurejesha hali ya kawaida. I want to send a message of appeal to the county commission of Nairobi and the sleeping county security team. We want to, you guys to address this issue. Three people, one of them have died. Last week, we also had other people that have been killed. We want to say that whoever is doing whatever they are doing, actually, uh, we, 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 we are just here, not because of anything else. We just want to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. And as a peace ambassador, I cannot be speaking about peace while our people are being killed. I cannot speak about peace while the young people are being killed. And I'm saying that Kenyans are important, and especially the youth. Those are the people that are being killed. We want to request the government to come out clearly and save the lives of people. 